The Caves of Zanzibar, a journey inside one of Africa's most unrecognized wonders. The House of Wonders or Palace of Wonders is a landmark building in Stone Town, Zanzibar. It is the largest and tallest building of Stone Town and occupies a prominent place facing the Faradani Gardens on the Old Town Seafront in Mozambique Road. It is located between the Old Court of Palace Museum and former Sultan's Palace. It is one of six palaces built by Lord Rajiv and Zed, the second son of Zanzibar, and is said to be located on the site of the 17th century palace of Zanzibar Queen Fatima. The House of Wonders housed the Museum of History and Culture of Zanzibar and the Swahili Coast. The palace was built in 1883 for Bargash bin Said, second sultan of Zanzibar. It was intended as a ceremonial palace and official reception hall, celebrating modernity, and it was named House of Wonders because it was the first building in Zanzibar to have electricity, and also the first building in East Africa to have electricity. The design of the palace is attributed to a British marine engineer and indeed its form introduced more architectural elements into the Zanzibar repertoire, including a wide external barrier supported by such as the covered passages above street level, called Wikios, which connected the House of Wonders to the two adjacent palaces Beit al Hukum and Beit al Sahel, now Palace Museum, allowing the royal ladies to move about unseen. The building has a large central covered courtyard or atrium surrounded by open galleries. Some of the inner doors of the palace are beautifully carved with inscriptions from the world. The marble floors and most of the silver decorations inside were imported from the world. The Sultan ostensibly kept the hub and was chained up to his plate. The Sultan was not able to remain wide enough so he could ride an elevator. In front of the building once stood a lighthouse which was destroyed during the Anglo Zanzibar War of August 27, 1896. This brief war also destroyed the Beit al Hukum Palace and severely damaged the Beit al Sahel Palace. The House of Wonders suffered only minor damages. During reconstruction in 1897, a new clock tower was integrated into the facade of the building. Made out of human was not rebuilt, its location was transformed into a garden, increasing the visual dominance of the House of Wonders. The House of Wonders was only fully occupied by the Sultan and his harem after the war. Initiated. Today it serves as a museum and it is one of Stone Town's major tourist attractions. The House of Wonders Museum, inaugurated in the early 2005, has permanent exhibits on aspects of the Swahili and Zanzibar culture as well as the East African environment. The inner courtyard is fully occupied by MT, a traditional Swahili boat. Around this courtyard, developing the three floors, there are several rooms with other exhibits on a variety of subjects. of the palace there are two old Portuguese bronze cannons of the 16th century. They were captured by the Persians in 1622 and later donated to the sultans of Oman, who brought them to Zanzibar. The biggest cannon is the emblem of King John III of Portugal. Entrance to the museum is 6.000 DMZ shillings for adults and for over DMZ shillings for children. Zanzibar residents are admitted free as of December 2011. Threatening the structural integrity of the rest of building. The museum has moved to another location. Despite the building currently being under a 6 million rehabilitation effort, much of its frontal facade, including the clock tower, reportedly collapsed in December 2020. This of course came as a shock and a great loss to Zanzibar as the palace is a part of the region's history and is also a UNESCO heritage. 
Society.